Hi, welcome to Civic Student News, also known as CNSN. I'm the anchor, Rita Bullerman. And I'm your co-anchor, Chris Lomas. In our broadcast, we'll mention three school activities. An interview with someone from the school. Once one world event. One U.S. event. One Supreme Court case discussion. And lastly, we will present a candidate commercial. Now that we've given the rundown, here we are with Ethan Henderson with our first school activity, which is the 8th grade dance. The Smartsville Middle School 8th grade dance was amazing. There was a professional DJ, free candy, food, drinks such as donuts, cookies, lemonade, and skills. Almost everyone was dressed in black and white <laughs> suits, ties, college. Its cafeteria was set up in black, white, and gold. There you could get pictures with your friends, even with props if you wanted. The DJ was playing many different songs, such as Fireball, Cake by the Ocean, and Sorry. The night of the 8th grade dance was a total success. Everyone there was having fun dancing and hanging out with friends. All the other students I've talked to so far have given good reviews about the 8th grade dance. I've even heard some 8th graders wanting a second dance for the year. I agree with them too. It was pretty fun. Everyone who was there was yeah, was glad they attended. On top of this, on top of this, it was a good fundraiser for the school. You all heard it. The dance is great and exciting. But now we move on to another fun topic. Here's Chris Lemus with information on the Hershey Park trip. Hi, I'm Chris Lemus, and I will be informing you on the Hershey Park trip. As most of you know, the people that are in some type of music department, like band, orchestra, guitar, chorus, or a jazz band were allowed to go on the trip. Everyone attending the trip mm -hmm. had to arrive at the school by at least 5.20 a.m. so we could take attendance at 5.30. When we arrived at Hershey Park, we quickly went to set up for the performances. Finally, everyone had played their songs and we changed out to head to the park. The Hershey Park trip was decent. decent. I would say it was extremely successful for the guitar because they won first place with a superior rating. Band received fourth place with an excellent rating. Jazz band received a third place with an excellent rating. Orchestra received fourth place with an excellent rating. And lastly, chorus received third place with a superior rating. And also, there were some awards, and they gave an award to J.J. Hensley, J.J. Hensley for a astonishing solo that he had for the chorus. The trip was great and extremely fun for the reason that we got to compete and also for the fact that we got to ride rides. But now we move on to a more serious topic. Here's Daniel Flores with news on the SOLs. Hi there, I'm Daniel. We are on the scene where the SOLs are currently being taken place. As you can see, the hallway has been closed due to SOL testing, and what a lot of people don't know is that this, this SOL testing has garnered a lot of buzz, and the library is closed, all the computer labs are shut down, and kids are now taking their tests. Uh, according to my current statistics, Every student in the school has to take an SOL. As you can see, there's a huge line of kids just waiting to take their tests. Uh, teachers are looking over kids to check for any suspicious behavior. And that's all back to Chris and his. There are things that we couldn't mention about the SOLs for obvious reasons, but they really do seem intense. But now, away from school activities, here's Izzy Falvo with the World Event. Hi, I'm Fizzy. As you know, the Tour de France has recently started, and this has sent the French government into a spin. The Tour is 2,247 mile bike ride race that consists of 300 plus cyclists. The French government has decided to place 23,000 officers and special forces units and guards along the formidable route and historic landmarks. This decision was made to protect the participants and spectators around the race. Due to November's terrorist attacks, the French interior minister, Bernard Chesneau, says, Exceptional measures would be in place with soldiers guarding key landmarks. 
Hopefully they can keep our favorite bike race safe from terrorist attacks. It's astonishing to see that an event could affect the world, but now on a small, on a smaller but still important scale. Here's Rita with the U.S. event. excited everyone because now we have a special interview with someone that will be run by Daniel. Alright, who has been the biggest influence in your life this year and why? Biggest influence in my life just this year, not for my whole life, right? This year. Just this year. And why? And why? I would have to say Miss Pack. She brings so much to the table instructionally. She knows her stuff, and she really holds your feet to the fire if you're not doing the right thing. I think you students can attest to that. Yeah, I agree. A great teacher. Mm -hmm. How will people remember you this year? This year, I think students will remember me as being very um, lenient, very easygoing at all times, very just nice, just nice. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got to say you were nice this Thank year. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what was your favorite memory this year? My favorite memory would be three memories. Be this end of quarter conferences. Having the opportunity to sit down one on one with students and discuss their strengths and weaknesses brought me great joy. Uh, what do you derive? Where do I derive my teaching method? <clears throat> I think from the old school moms of the 1500s. The ones who never let anything get by. They knew what was happening at all times. I like them. They had schools in the 1500s? I think you, you can figure that out. Uh, how do you aspire to, what do you aspire to be in 20 years? In 20 years? I hope that I am teaching the youth of America how to read and write. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you for your time. Well, that was certainly an interesting interview. And our next topic is about a Supreme Court case with Izzy. U.S. Supreme Court case, Lau versus Nicholas, is a bilingual education. It's about bilingual education in public schools. This case originated in California, where Chinese Americans brought this case up because they felt that they were not receiving the help they deserved due to their lack to speak English and understand English. They explained that they were entitled to this under the, right, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 under Title VI. The act states, no person in the U.S. shall be on grounds of race, color, or national origin be excluded from participation in, be denied benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any program or activity receiving federal funds. This includes schools. The Supreme Court of the United States ruled in favor of the students, and this case became the basis of the ESOL programs to help everyone succeed in their education. The court case really seemed intense, but now we end and we will show a commercial for a presidential candidate. Here's the following on Donald J. Trump and his GOP nomination. Majority of Republicans disagree with others about Donald J. Trump being racist. Different people such as black people, Chinese, even Hispanics are starting to support the supposedly racist candidate, Donald Trump. He has won the GOP nomination. He might be offensive while expressing his dark humor, but people have gotten used to it by now. I want to build a wall when I become president. Trust me, I build the best walls is a quote you'll hear from Donald Trump often during his speeches. Most Mexicans turn out to be sex offenders, rapists, and killers. Donald thinks that there are a few good people left in the Mexican community, as he quoted, and he believes that Hispanics shouldn't be jumping the border either. 
The wall might protect our country and protect us from killers and illegal invaders. Donald Trump might be right about this one. We'll have to see if other Americans decide to vote for his opinion and promised actions. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. Do you want to build a wall? Let's make a plan today. Don't want to see them anymore. We'll have a door, but lock it every day. It will cost a lot of money, but that's fine. We'll get Mexico to pay. Do you want to build a wall? I'm not going to pay you for that. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Do you want to build a wall? 